What's up everybody? It's time to install the last component of our fuel system. Our injectors. Check them. They're nice and clean. Like I said, I took these to my friend. His name is Casey Barrett. And he's in Salt Lake, Utah. If you're local and you need your injectors flow tested and cleaned like we did, hit him up. Because when we were testing these, they were so dirty, they were spraying crooked, had a weird pattern, um, uneven. But after cleaning them a few times in his machine, they look brand new and they flow all equal across all four. So I'm starting to get these put back in and know that they're working well and not have to worry about any issues from having E85 sitting in them for that long. So let's get these injectors installed. We'll show you how that works. And then we are finally going to prime the fuel system and see if we can find any leaks. If there's any leaks, we'll button them up and we're getting pretty close to being ready to dyno. All right, so the boxer engine's a little bit different than others, but same, but very similar at the same time. The difference is it has two heads and it's horizontally opposed. So that affects where our injectors are. Let's check it out. So being a boxer engine, you have one head here and one head on this side. And you have an intake manifold where your pressurized air from the turbo comes through. It mixes with your fuel and then into your combustion chamber. Now, right here, this is my fuel rail. It's an aftermarket fuel rail. If you have a stock set up, there's gonna be so much crap on top of this that you have to remove in order to get to your injectors. And uh, honestly, like after tearing so much stuff out of my engine bay, that's one of the best parts about it is it's pretty easy to get to most stuff. So right here you can see I've clogged my holes where my injectors go while I've been working on the car so that nothing fell in there. All right, now uh, since these are used injectors, I've had these for a few years, you want it, and they've been taken in and out, you want to inspect the O-rings, these bottom donuts, and uh, these top O-rings, and make sure that they're not cracked or dried out or, you know, folded or anything. And then we're going to use some lubricant on the o-rings in order to make it sh so that they slide up into the fuel rail and down into the intake manifold and uh, don't you know pull the o-ring down or rip anything off or you know cause any damages all right got those all lubed up Time to install them. All right, first one's going in. Take our plug out. Make sure nothing gets stuck in there and that it's clean. Easy. Let's get our next one in. Then you line your fuel rails up on top of the injectors so they slide in the hole nice and easy. And then with these aftermarket fuel rails, super easy. This is all we have to do to mount them. There's two holes right there. These are the OG APS fuel rails. If anyone knows APS, they've been doing Subarus for a while. If you don't know APS, you don't know about tuning those two liter Subarus. And then we've got our injector wires to communicate with the ECU. Get those plugged in to the right injectors. Obviously, don't blow it. You're gonna have some tuning issues. All right. That side's in there. 
Not too bad, right? Awesome, just got those installed. So there they are, all locked in. Gonna get our battery installed and that way we can prime the pumps and check for fuel leaks. Check these things out, quick release. Guys, you spend money not on like shiny parts, but parts that would actually get us a reward and a gain. I've literally been using this, the stock battery tie down. I think it's time, it's gotta go, it's... <sighs> All right, moment of truth. Put a little pressure. I can hear a leak already, come with me. Hear that? Can't have that, go to the dyno, having fuel leaks, being all embarrassed in front of Alex, making us look like idiots, no way. With these type of fittings, when you take them off and like wobble them around a lot, eventually they can get loose. So that's what happened here. Double check our other side. So we gotta check all these little hard to reach areas. Feel if they're wet. All of our fuel filter fittings. Check both fuel rails. All right, got it pressurized again. I don't hear it leaking this time. One more spot we can't forget to check is where we installed the fuel pump. There's fuel lines coming out of there we had to take off. So far though, it looks really good everywhere else in the engine bay. So I'm stoked on that. No major fuel leak issues there. Everything got fixed. No leaks. So we're gonna put our cover back on. Hyped. We got all of the fuel system dialed, installed, leaks checked, everything. We should be good to go and I'm stoked about it. So stay tuned and join us for the next Dino Prep episodes because there's still more to check. There's lots more to check. We gotta look for more leaks next time in the turbo system. We gotta deal with checking our spark plugs and we need to do an oil change. Just basics, the stuff you gotta do when you're tuning your car and putting it under high stress, high load, stuff like that that happens on the dyno. Stay tuned guys, thanks for joining. P.S., again, thank you for all the orders. If you're watching and you've been ordering stuff, we really appreciate it. I literally made stickers for like four hours a day. So, thanks guys.